Hi everybody, this is Jeff from Rick Robotics. I'm really excited today because I just got my new 3D printer in the mail and I'm going to do a quick unboxing and show you how it works. This is my old printer right here, as you can see. It's an X-Bot made by Ecartech. I bought it about four years ago. Um, it's actually been a pretty good printer for what it's worth. It came out when um, 3D printing for smaller consumers is actually uh, made available. So uh, I guess it was an experiment, but I've had a lot of fun with it. And it's actually served me pretty well with actually very minimum, uh, minimal maintenance despite the reviews that it's gotten. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much all 3D printed other than the uh, thread rods. And it just has one extruder here, a uh, heat bed, and it is powered by an Arduino Mega on the back here. Um, the reason I am upgrading and changing uh, besides the fact that this only has one extruder and the new one has two is that this one actually kind of died on me. Um, the biggest problem that I had, uh, you might be able to see right here, there should be a hot end and an extruder and that has been taken off uh, because the uh, heating element started to fail and so did the thermistor in there. So I got that all taken apart and tried to figure it out and I ended up ruining the hot end. So I actually ordered another hot end that's on its way. Uh, maybe later on we'll try to do a video about fixing this printer and getting it working. Then I'll have two printers working. The other reason was that the heat bed was also starting to fail. I'm not sure if it's actually failing because of the heat or because of the thermistor inside of it, but uh, it gets kind of sketchy. It'll go to about 110 or 112 Celsius and then it'll drop back down to 80 for a while and then it'll gradually increase back up and that's resulted in a lot of warping um, and uh, a lot more time on the prints than I would have liked. So anyway, it's time for an upgrade so let's get to the new printer and see how that looks. So I purchased this printer off of eBay it is a Bizer or Bizer if I'm saying that right. And as you can see, it costs about $359 with uh, no shipping. Obviously, the pictures are pretty impressive. Uh, it's a dual extruder, so it can print uh, two materials at the same time or two colors at the same time. And it actually looks pretty good. Here are the details on it, and I'll let you check that out if you want to. But it... Uh, has some pretty decent parameters. And I've actually been looking at this for about six months. Um, it seems to be fairly reasonable in, in price and for the, for the parameters that it has. You can see here X and Y. 0.011 millimeters. Uh, Z axis is 0 0.0025 millimeters. So that's actually pretty precise. I'm sure there's definitely better printers out there, but uh, for the for the price and such, not too bad. Also, the uh, the size of the printer is 320 by 467. Uh, 381 it came in a pretty decent size box, and the build size is 200. Uh, 220 by 150 by 150, which is just slightly bigger than the advertised build side of my uh, Ecotec printer. And we'll find out if that's actually accurate as well. Sometimes printers kind of fudge a little bit when they're talking about how, uh, how big their print build is. Um, now, before you say anything, I actually have read a lot of reviews on this. I've gotten some good and bad on here. I'm looking at these particular reviews from Thingiverse, uh, which, if you don't know already, is a great place to find uh, 3D printed objects and drawings that you can throw into your printer and just give them a try. Uh, specifically, one review I saw, they're kind of good and bad. Mostly they say it's decent out of the box, ready to go, but it will... Um, have a few problems that might need to be looked at right away. So, um, including this particular uh, 
in-depth review here of, of this one guy, uh, Zalzo Brooks, or something like that, is the author of this. And <clears throat> he says this and that needed to be fixed, but it was a quick fix because you can uh, print this file and basically swap it out and it's just fine and um, this and that. So anyway, I've looked at all these. I'm not going to go over all of this. Uh, in this video because I wanted to keep it short and mostly to the unboxing and see if we can get it to work but just want to let you know I am aware of these issues and we'll see if these issues actually happen in my printer so let's get to the unboxing well here we are this is the printer as it came in the box I'm just going to take my tape here and do a couple measurements we have 17 and a half on that side About 23 inches long and about 20 inches tall. The weight of the box is actually pretty reasonable. It's about 20 25 pounds. And without further ado, I'm going to take my utility knife here and just cut off some tape. So let's see how that works. So we'll go ahead and start right here at the top. What do we have here? Switching to the top view here, uh, looking down into the box, looks like the printer's encased pretty well in this uh, this foam. So let's see how taking this out works. Hopefully that doesn't fall. Into the box, and there we go. And the box is empty, and right away I noticed that uh, a little nut has fallen out. So I'm not sure if that's necessary, but who knows, maybe they send extra parts. We'll put this off to the side. So back at the front angle again, still got my little nut over here, we'll go ahead and pull this apart. One piece of foam. actually designed pretty well it seems to be uh, sticking quite well to the printer or at least it encapsulates it very nicely and there we are and as I was doing this I noticed yet another extra part uh, it seems to be a uh, some type of cardboard composite washer a little little red thing there uh, it seems to fit about the same size as that nut so Maybe those both came off of the same uh, same bolt structure somewhere. So, we're looking at the back of the printer here. There's a the side. And there's the front. And there's the other side. So, let's, uh, let's keep going and see what happens. I'm also wondering here, I see a lot of cardboard in here, but the, the printer actually claimed to come with a roll of test filament. Um, and it said that it would give me the choice of PLA or ABS and black or white. 
And typically when that type of thing happens, you either can select something in the, in the tool on eBay or uh, the seller sends you a message uh, asking you what, what you want. Well, I didn't get either one of those options, so we'll find out if it's in here and if it even came. I'm wondering if maybe there's something under here that, that might be that, but we're going to keep going and find out. Otherwise, I might have to say something to the seller. So. Well, here looks like the dual extruder kit. You can just barely see the hot ends poking out there. We'll get back to that in a little bit. We've got some type of uh, composite plywood stands here. They look neat. I'm not really sure where they go quite yet, but we'll figure that out. Your USB cable. Some type of a hollow plastic tube. I'm not really sure what that does yet either. And we'll find out. Actually, uh, looking at these, it looks like it might actually just snap right into here somehow. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm thinking maybe this is a filament holder because it's just about the right size. So we'll, uh, we'll get back to this a little later, but there we go. Put a roll of filament on there or something and it could be pretty handy. We've got a little bit of hardware with some um, Allen wrenches. We've got an SD card here, uh, four gig. Got a 3D printed gray part here for something. Looks like some type of a, a bracket to hold some plywood together. We'll find out about that later. And the power cord. And more brackets. And that about does it for this box. As you can see, the print bed here is uh, sitting here and it has some blue painter's tape on it. I would imagine uh, that works well for PLA, but ABS is really not necessary. That's what you have the heat bed for. And let's keep moving down towards the bottom of the printer. All right, well, we have the top stuff out of here and we're gonna go ahead and move some of this out of the way so we can move on to the bottom of the printer. Put this all right here. Have this piece of cardboard sitting in here, and I'm not sure how that's going to come out. So it looks like it's packed in there rather tight. I don't want to damage the printer when I'm getting it out. That'd be the last thing I want. The piece of foam in here at the side securing something, and I don't see one on the other side. And that's just a cardboard tube. And we've got a couple other things in here as well. Let's see if we can get them out to the side. Well, there's a empty cardboard box. It looks like it could have held filament, but no filament in there yet. And we have another one. Let's see if I can get that out the same size. Okay. And this actually has some weight in it, so we'll go ahead and open this up here. And what do you know? There's my filament. I was beginning to worry. Uh, it looks like this is 1.75 millimeter, which is the size of the printer, obviously. And it looks like it's uh, an orangish color. Oh, and it's PLA. So as you can see there. And I believe this is about half a kilogram because a normal whole kilogram would take up basically the whole roll. So. There's our filament, and there's our empty box. So let's see what's left. Well, in looking at the printer here, uh, it looks like all that's left is some of the bubble wrap stuff with some of the zip ties on there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just tear into those and see what happens. So I've got my utility knife back here. And we're gonna open up the extruder part first.
my scissors out here and start cutting. Here we are. We've got the two hot ends here, has two little fans, and they're all mounted in a pretty sturdy aluminum package. So I'm excited to see what that can do. Next, we'll move on to these straps here, and they should just cut right off. I believe those are just used to secure the printer while it's being shipped. Zip tie and bubble wrap. And then one more on this side. Oh, two more on this side. So cut that off. Zip ties. And bubble wrap. And there we are. Well, here's everything just laid out on the table. Everything that came in the box. We have the, the printer, the USB cable, our little 3D printed angles there, the extra hardware, the SD card, power supply, the hot end which is already hooked up to the printer, our filament which I've put on the filament holder, and of course our two pieces of mysterious hardware. We'll see what they go to later. Um, next step is to put it all together and give it a test run. Well that about does it for our unboxing today. Be sure and check back for episode 2 of this series where I'll be putting together the missing pieces of the printer and giving it a quick test drive. Be sure and like this video, tell your friends, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching everybody.